Hey guys, welcome to Cinematic Tendency and welcome to another unboxing video and today I am gonna be unboxing um, El Chipote uh, Chillon and, uh, and before I do that, uh, I am gonna assume that most of you are not, uh, uh, don't know what I'm talking about uh, and if that's the case, that means uh, you are not uh, familiar with uh, El Chapulín uh, Colorado. Uh, El Chapulín Colorado is a Mexican uh, superhero and I am going to give you a brief background about him. So Chapulín uh, means uh, grass uh, hopper and Colorado is another way for, for uh, rojo and rojo and Colorado means uh, red. So if you want to translate Chapulín Colorado, that means um, the red grasshopper. El Chapulín Colorado was uh, created and also played by the late uh, comedian, uh, producer, uh, and writer uh, Roberto Gomez uh, Bolaños back in the 70s. El Chapulín Colorado lasted seven seasons with over 200 episodes. These episodes air in many, uh, many uh, Spanish-speaking countries and even uh, Brazil. I know in Brazil they don't speak uh, Spanish, but in Brazil, the Chapulín Colorado show was dubbed in Portuguese. Now, El Chapulín Colorado, he's a parody of superheroes. So yeah, he's a Chapulín, he's, he's weak, he's clumsy, he's always afraid. Uh, he uses a lot of uh, slapstick uh, comedy. But at the end of the day, uh, he's, he's a hero. And so there is a little bit, yeah, this is comedy, but there is a lesson to be taught. So in the TV show, El Chapulín Colorado shows up uh, pretty much anytime and anywhere. Like in some episodes, we see him in, in, the, in the Wild West. All the, all the time we see him in fairy tales. I think there's even an episode that uh, took place in outer space. So yeah, he's, he's anywhere, anytime. And he's also uh, an icon, um, like a, a Mexican icon. We're talking about pop culture, but uh, not only in Mexico, but like I said, I would say he's an icon in, in Latin American pop culture. Like I said, the TV show ran for seven uh, seasons. Uh, there is also um, uh, comic books about Chapulín. There is even um, a Funko Pop uh, toy of the Chapulín that I actually um, bought. Um, there has been uh, t-shirts, merchandise, uh, a lot of things, a lot of stuff about Chapulín Colorado. Okay, so let's continue with the unboxing video. But before we do that, please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and let's do it. Right, let's get it out of the bag. All right, let's let's check it out. Okay, so this mallet is one of the Chapulín's uh, weapons. So let's just take a quick look right here. All right, it's about seven inches, and um, I bought it for myself um, for cosplaying purposes. But uh, uh, okay, this one is right here. It's about twelve inches right here, and let's see the width here. It's about uh, so twelve plus four, that will be uh, sixteen uh, inches, and. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's plastic. I mean, this is this is cheap. Is I paid um, uh, fifteen fifteen dollars, and uh, I think this makes noises when you uh, smash something. Uh, let me let me smash something right here. Maybe you can hear it. Yeah. So uh, like I was telling you, uh, this is uh, cheap. I got it on eBay. It's supposed to be an adult size, but um, I don't know about that. 
uh, I don't know if how it's gonna look. I mean, I would like it if it were a little, a little, a little bigger. But like I was telling you, um, um, I like to go to 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 go to comic cons. So, and I've done a little bit of a uh, cosplay before. Uh, I mean, before before COVID, I haven't been back in any comic con after COVID. But uh, this summer, um, there's gonna be a comic con. Uh, kind of a, it's kind of big. Uh, and maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I'm gonna go, uh, God willing. So I was planning in uh, in going as uh, at the Chapulín, uh, Colorado. So that's why I bought this uh, this uh, Chipotle Chillon. Um, however, I don't know yet if I'm gonna dress up or not. That's gonna depend. Uh, the thing is, okay, this is the thing. Uh, uh, car weathers. Is, is gonna be there uh, for uh, pictures and autographs and uh, I met him before in a different Comic Con before COVID and uh, I got his autograph and uh, actually is is right there that picture right there of Predator uh, he gave me his autograph but I didn't get a photo with him so maybe I'm gonna get a, a I'm planning on getting a, a photo with him uh, if I go so I don't know if I wanna you know dress up and then uh, change for the photo and then dress up uh, as Chapulín again. So I don't know, it's too much going, I mean, I don't know, I think it's a lot of effort. So anyway, uh, I still have time to decide, but uh, yeah, uh, I bought this uh, Chipotle Chion, like I said, uh, as a uh, cosplay uh, prop. And uh, I guess I'll let you know if, if uh, you know, on, on Instagram, if 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 I uh, if I'm gonna end up going to that Comic Con or not, so that Comic Con is gonna be the uh, this summer, uh, August. But uh, yeah, so that's the plan. All right, so um, I got no complaints. I mean, the, the the only thing is like I don't know if I would like it to be a little bigger because I am. Well, I mean, I'm not huge, but I, to me, it seems like this is more like for for my for my kids. But, uh, so I'm gonna keep looking uh, and see if I can find, uh, you know, maybe, maybe a little longer, uh, more like for an adult. Otherwise, if I can't find it, then I'll just use this one. I mean, I haven't seen myself in a mirror to see what the scale looks like, but uh, this works for now. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I am gonna see you very soon in another video. And until then, ciao, calamano.